Ellis, one of the reference librarians in the Trout Library. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use PLOS, also known as Public Library of Science Database. This database is open access, which means that it is free to the general public and does not require a Harkham password. It contains many full text articles dealing with science, technology, and medicine and should prove useful for your studies. To access PLOS, I'm going to take you from the harkham.edu down to the database list. So first go to harkham.edu and on the right hand side it says quick links. Look down the list until you find library services and click on that. Now you are on the library homepage. Bring, uh, scroll down a little bit until you get to quick links again on the left hand side and look for databases and click on that. Now you are on the database list. First before we go find the database let me explain the two icons in the legend here. When you see an icon with a small white bear on it that means it's a subscription database and it requires the username and password login to access it from off campus. We have other tutorials that will explain databases that have username and password and access to it. So please feel free to check those tutorials out. We have another icon and it is a blue circle with the magnifying glass in the inside. That means it is open access database and it is freely available to anyone, not just Harkham uh, patrons. So if you scroll down, you will see a horizontal bar with the alphabet on it. And we're looking for PLOS, so P-L-O-S. We're going to go to P and then we, hit, we get to the uh, P list. Now uh, here we see PLOS, Public Library of Science, and we'll click on that. And now we are in this particular database. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, very clean looking. Uh, the publications that this particular database uses are on the far left hand bottom corner and you can see that it has biology, medicine, computational biology, genetics, pathogens, and neglected tropical diseases. Those are the uh, topics it touches on. For today, we are going to search childhood leukemia. We're going to put a um, quotation mark around the term childhood leukemia. The reason why we put quotation marks around it is because we wanted to search together as a topic not individually as separate words. When it's searched individually as separate words you may not necessarily get as specific as you would when you're looking for a specifically childhood leukemia. And also, as you can see on the far left hand side next to the search box, you see all fields. You can actually do a search on just the title, the author. You can do a search on the topic and you can um, specify where you wanted to search. We're going to leave it alone so that way we can get a bigger search. So let's hit the search button. And it is rolling. All right, now we have 1,743 um, hits. So on the left hand side, you will see that you can narrow it down even more so by subject area, article type, author, publication date. So we're going to do subject area. We're going to narrow it down to oncology. Let's click on oncology. Just taking your time here. Okay, now we're down to 1017. We're also going to reduce it by the publication date or the year range. So when you're doing, um, when you're in the allied health field, you want to search for materials within the five year mark, unless you're doing something specifically historical. Uh, typically you want to do within a five year mark. So I'm actually going to choose 2015, January um, 1st. 
So I just did this and then I'm going to choose today for the end date and hit apply and it's doing another search. Alright, now we're down to 451 results. Let's see if we can pick an article. Okay. Alright, let's choose this one. And it's coming. Okay. Okay, so as you can see from the top of the article, it has uh, various different uh, places that you can click and on the left hand side you can see that it had a, a like a table of content you can just click on something and it will take you straight down there so we'll go back to the top here so you have the article you can actually click on this box and it will give you the list of authors and their background metrics which is basically um how many people have searched and use this article, how many people have cited this article, so those kind of metrics. Now if you want this article you can download the PDF right here and you can get the article right here at your hands and you can print it, you can use the printer icon, you can also print it right here, you can share it and uh, if you want the citation for this particular article, let's see in a lot of places, let's go back to the article here. So citation, you just scroll down a little bit and here it is. Citation is right here and you can copy and paste it and put it in your paper. Because it is open access, you only have one option for citing and it's in the ANA format, the American Medical Association. As opposed to when you're using a subscribe database where they will give you more options, more features, but the more options are in different citations. You will have APA, a AMA, NLM, you have different citations in a subscribe database, but because this is a public database, not as much money, but anyway, this is the citation you get. So right here you have to download PDF and you can get all of this. It's uh, pretty easy to use. But if you have any questions, please feel free to reach us at library at or call us at 610 526-6085 and leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as you can. Or you can check out the chat box that we have on the library homepage and we, we will be happy to help you. Good luck and thank you.